what up dude bro spider Avenger miller we are finally back with another review i know it's not of a special one but trust me the next two are going to be just be patient because they arrive on thursday however we are looking at the zombie strike duminator a pretty fun blaster with a unique flipping gimmick which we haven't seen in a while from nerf take notes hasbro but let's get into it with an external overview starting up at the front. There's no one strike barrel lug. But above we do have a iron sight. It's a pretty vague iron sight, but it's okay-ish. And down below we do have the priming handle to prime. You do that. The prime action itself is pretty smooth, but it is prone to issues. Uh, you, if you're trying to go fast with it, you can uh, do that. So, yeah. But what's also weird about this is this is a unscrewable part that you just take out. And if you want to, you could screw it up here or on the left side, the Lambie bro, and have this weird uh, hip firing thing, which is kind of weird. But it's kind of effective because when you do this, your hand is prone to smash into the blaster. And of course, to fix that, I recommend just putting your thumb on the outside and just pushing back with your hand it leads to a more comfortable prime i guess is what i could say and up above we do have a tactical rail and then down below we have the most unique part of this blaster which is the four six round cylinders uh these each hold six with a total capacity of i believe 24 darts i could be mistaken but uh it's pretty cool in theory but this is prone to issues but mine Seems to work just fine, which, sweet. And then we got these two triggers back here. We have this unique uh, scissor thing. I, I really don't know what you would describe it as, but that does that. As you can see, if you go too fast, it pickups. And now back to the trigger. The trigger pull is pretty nice, and this blaster does have slam fire, meaning you could hold down the trigger, and when you prum, pump and return, it automatically fires. There's a joke in there. And it works pretty decently, but these cylinders are prone to issue. They work kind of on the same s system as a strong arm, which means if you slam fire too hard, it's going to hiccup, and sometimes you could have a lot of issues with this over-rotating. So we will go over that a little bit later. And I believe you could count this as a sling loop, but it's a very awkward place for a sling, so it's okay. And now back to the grip. The grip is okay. It's a little uncomfortable, and that's due to this stock design choice. Uh, if you want to call that a stock, if you have little baby chicken arms like a dinosaur but the whole grip is not really the most comfortable and this tends to bang into your wrist and especially if you're doing what i'm doing it can actually tear into your wrist but it's okay this whole blaster is weird on ergonomics but it's okay and then we got another sling loop back here and of course no other things to go over that is an external overview let's see this thing firing starting off with elite darts and facing a zombie Lamp fire. Zombies aren't supposed to be alive again.
so yeah, that's the firing demo. As you saw, this had a lot of issues, and I actually spent a lot of time researching this thing. This was not very loved. Uh, the system, for one, if you try to go fast, this can over-rotate, or the flipping mechanism, if you're going too fast, sometimes doesn't work, and I still don't understand. That works really well, but everything else with it, uh, if you, it works very similar to that one Dart Zone Blaster I reviewed. Can't remember its name right now, the Quadro Blast, which you can watch but if you click up there. However, uh, not very fun. And I looked up current graph data, and this was not very good, which explains why you saw a lot of those darts start to drop. This shot about uh, 60s, 50s, kind of a little inconsistent, but uh, that is all the objective information I can provide on this blaster. Not in my personal opinion. Overall, I'm a little disappointed with this. Now, also, to, in, our in our hobby nowadays, this has no use. For this, you could literally go pick up a Venture Force Villainator, which holds 40 rounds, performs a lot better, and has a lot better darts. So, kind of a low opinion on this right now. I was kind of hoping this thing would impress me a little more, but no, it did not. Uh, from the shots I've had with this thing, uh, it's not very fun. Especially with how finicky it is, plus I don't think I would trust this in a war, especially as I'm trying to run and gun and go really fast. I don't trust this thing. It's a little bit of a pain. So, unfortunately, now that brings me to the question to buy or not to buy. No, I do not recommend you buy this, especially nowadays. For this price, you can go get an Adventure Force Villainator, you can get a Tomcat, you can get so many better things than this, because this, while fun, is kind of outdated. So, I kind of feel bad. I never thought I'd give this thing a negative review, because I always wanted one. But, now I have one. And it's negative. How far have I become? But thank you guys so much for checking out my video. And again, stay tuned for the next ones because they're going to be some pretty exciting reviews. Because again, they come on Thursday. But much love, blast on, and stay tactical. What up, dude, bro? Spider Avenger Miller. We are finally back with another review. I know it's of a lesser special blaster, but trust me, the next ones shall be very special. However, we're looking at the Zombie Strike Villainator. Villainator? It says Dominator. Redo. 